Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk today about how, um, why Yan Smuts is, or was, I should say, he died in 1950, was unselfish, okay? Yan Smuts, when he became prime minister, he was entitled to a car by the law at the time, and he was given that car, but instead of, uh, using that car, he walked from his residence to, um, to where he worked, to, to his government office, and the distance between that was 17 kilometers. So that is an amazing accomplishment for somebody, particularly considering that at that time, uh, Yan Smuts had a stick that he walked with, and it was from past wartime injuries, particularly when he fought in the Anglo-Boer War, and he fought on the side of the Afrikaners against the British. And then after that, he was a champion of reconciliation between the Afrikaners and the British, and he knew at that time that it was... Um, that it was not a popular thing to do, but he went with it anyway because he believed that that was the right thing to do to embrace forgiveness and embrace reconciliation. And that is an example of somebody who's not selfish and who has a good heart and who is a true leader and a true hero. And that's, that's an amazing accomplishment and amazing characteristics of somebody. Anyway, so if I was doing well, I'll take care. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.